What's good? It's your boy, the urban legend, K to the bird, KG USA representative all day in the building. And today, man, we're going to be talking about interviews, interviews as an artist, getting interviews, doing interviews, hosting interviews. We're going to talk about is it really important or is it not? Let's get into it. All right. It's pretty simple to me, man. I'm going to let y'all know off the top. Doing interviews are just as important as dropping new material. A new interview is like new material. You see, like, artists that have been out for years, that have been probably not the most relevant musically-wise, have been dropping out consistent projects. None of the things they could have been doing to bubble up their name. A lot of them came out in the last two years of just doing a good ass interview, man. Just doing a good interview, being entertaining, being funny, being witty, making the people relate to them. And it's been working in their favor, man. A lot of new artists and a lot of old artists been using this tactic to grow their fan base. That's how important an interview is nowadays. An interview is like a new album. So anybody out there that's a new artist, been out for a while, I don't care if you've been out for like 10 years plus, and you never did an interview. This year right here, you gotta focus on doing the interview. And the better platform you do the interview with, the better off it looks for you as an artist. You could do an interview with anybody that's got a, that got a camera that can ask you questions. You know what I mean? If you just wanna get an interview out there. But if you wanna think smart business-wise, it's all about the platform you're doing your interview on. See, me, myself, the first real official interview I ever did was with my dude locally in my state. Well, he in Charlotte, my dude Voice B from Grind and Shine TV. That was like the first interview I ever did. You know what I mean? His platform wasn't known all over the world. It wasn't mainstream, but on his platform, he had a lot of respectable artists. He interviewed Dolph, he interviewed Master P, he interviewed Snoop Dogg, he interviewed Boozy when Boozy first got out of jail back in the day. So. He didn't have the biggest name as on a platform, but he had a professional look with his platform. And that's the reason why I chose to do my first interview with him. And it was a good move and it was a good look for me as an artist. It really did help me bring in more subscribers, more followers, and more views. The second interview I did was with DJ Smalls in Atlanta. On the Smalls, Smalls eyes, you know, on the white couch, you know what I'm saying? Everybody out there should already know how important DJ Small has been to the Southern community of hip hop. I don't know if a lot of y'all know that DJ Small used to actually be a real DJ before the interview shit. He used to do the DJ mixtapes called Southern Smoke. And a lot of independent artists back then and that time got broken through a lot of his mixtapes. Like, you know what I mean? So many different artists, you know, a lot of Florida artists, Ball Greasy, Tom G., Moot Boy, a lot of Atlanta artists, you know, Underground, Pastor Troy, you know what I mean, shit, Fabo, Shorty Low, I mean, a lot of artists, you know, there's so many of them, I can't even name them all, Memphis artists as well, you know what I mean, and Houston artists as well, DJ Smalls has spread it around real big in the South, so when, when he started doing his interviews on his YouTube channel, you know what I mean? He kind of already had a fan base built up and he had relationships built up with everybody he already did his mixtapes with. So that was the perfect platform to do an interview with, especially as my second interview. And I was thinking like business when I did it. So I said, I got to get it with DJ Smalls, my second interview. And that shit came out good. You know, that shit really helped my professionalism and it helped me on a more mainstream level, you know, I started getting features then, you know what I mean? I started doing better shows then. Shit started coming in smoother then. People started hitting me up, reaching out. And artists started talking to me in a respectable way. Other artists that I looked up to that I liked, you know, they didn't look at me like an independent artist out here playing. They looked at me like an independent artist that's about his business and trying to come up the right way. So... That interview definitely helped, man. It helped my brand. It helped my name. It helped me get some exposure. And with that interview, man, me and Smalls have built a little relationship. You know what I mean? That's why I did multiple interviews with him after the first one. And then 
The third interview I chose to do, I did it with Jumped Off the Porch, DGB, Dirty Girl Bastard. And the reason why I went to them instead of going back to Smalls, even though me and Smalls had a good rapport, the business was good, good relationship. DGB, Dirty Gov, they've been building up their shit more recently. And it's all about knowing what place to go on when it's hot, man. You got to strike it when it's hot. Whenever a platform, a podcast, an interview or whatever, they're getting a the buzz. Even if they in your region, out your region locally, because it's a lot of independent places out there like Detroit, you know, Stu, his YouTube channel do good. You know, I see a lot of artists reach out to him because like they hot. They might can't even reach their peak or reach like Vlad TV notoriety yet, but they working and they hot. So that mean that if you go to that place and you do your interview there, that shows that you doing what? Working and you might be hot. So that's why it's a good look to go with the new shit that's coming up. Always look for the new shit. Always be paying attention to the new shit. You gotta stay focused and you gotta know what's popping and what's gonna be that next thing. Cause every year it changes. You know what I mean? Every year a new platform comes up and establishes themselves. You know, with other platforms like Vlad, Adam22, DJ Smalls, they already kind of established, so they're still going to do what they do and do the numbers they do. But it's always one that comes out of nowhere, that come off, off the cusp of grinding and grinding and grinding, never been the thing and never been mainstream, and then they're hot, then everybody fucking with it. Just like uh, Math Hoffa, man. Math Hoffa, big up to... Math Brooklyn MC, you know what I mean? His shit is popping right now. The Math Alpha show popping. It's probably be the, the most popping show on fucking YouTube right now, besides like Vlad. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And the Breakfast Club and shit like that. Math Alpha kind of came up over a lot of the names I mentioned in the last year. Even though he'd been doing it for years, but he just got hot. He had that moment where he got hot, and when it was hot, he striked that shit. And that's all you gotta do. So. So all you independent artists out there that's listening, man, just know, interviews are very important. So if you're an independent artist right here and you hear this right now, if you've been grinding for years, you've been doing all these shows, you've been doing all these open mics, you've been traveling places, doing all these showcases, you've been performing this place, you done went to South by Southwest, you done went to all these musical festivals, you done went to all these musical festivals, you done invested a lot of bread into your show, into your music, into your product. You probably selling merch, t-shirts, everything like that. But you feel like you still ain't getting that notoriety that you need to get. And you feel like people still ain't looking at you like you was professional as the way you really moving. You got to get an interview on a real good platform to stamp that shit the right way. You know what I mean? You got to get a good interview. If you look at a lot of these artists that came out in the last five years, a lot of them got a good interview with probably Say Cheese, Dirty Glove, Smalls, anybody, man. A lot of eyes on that page. So you want your shit to be where a lot of eyes are. Even if you're doing a lot of shit and a lot of eyes seeing you, it's nothing better than a lot of eyes seeing you. And you got the professional platforms and the professional backing that makes niggas want to be like you and move that way. Or want to go to the same place you went to. It's all marketing tactics, man. It's all marketing and promotion all day. So, just know, interviews are very, very fucking important. Interviews. And the music. And the visuals. But you gotta have an interview to establish your professionalism in this game. And that's all for the day, man. It's your boy, the urban legend. The K to the fucking bird. And I just had to put y'all on some more free game. I'll get with y'all in the next one. Peace and love, y'all. I'm out.